second job for 2023. Rock under a house, not far from home. Classic job, done lots and lots and lots of these. In the past, I would have just used explosive and blasted it. Um, would like to do that one this way. It's quite appropriate for that, no problems. Done lots of them. But just too hard to get the blast mats up here. Just, uh, you know, steep driveway, climbing over lots of stuff. So I'm going to use the large plugs and feathers and uh, split it. Could have also used the cracking agent. That's plan A, or was plan A. But, um, you know, it's always a bit of an unknown and you drill a lot of holes, pour them full of goo, the rock breaks and um, the homeowner in this case will be assigned to get the bits out and if he can't, I'll have to come back. Uh, always a bit of an unknown. So if I use the plugs and feathers, I'll know it's all out, so stay tuned. First hole's done. I'm using a um, 47 or 48 mil knock-on bit. I'm a bit worried about it coming off because drilling on a low angle like this, I can't really keep a lot of pressure on it. So I'm going to change to a threaded bit for this next hole, which is um, a little bit sharper, which might help, but the, the coupling efficiency for the MG is not as not as high. And you can tell because they get screaming hot, but it won't come off, it will not come off. So, um, I'll give that a crack and see how we go. Alright, the uh, plugs and feathers are nice and clean now. I've scraped them and cleaned them with the rag. Come back to grease them up. Very important step. Please don't use plugs and feathers without grease. I know people tell me you don't need grease, but you really do. You just do. Uh, I'm using the white data grease. This is undoubtedly the best grease for this application. Uh, they know it and they charge you like it too. So we don't need a whole lot, just a, just a bit on the feathers. Nice thin even coating. Nice. I would have liked to have used the hydraulic splitter on this job, but it was just too difficult to get it in here. Such as life. Um, feathers are done. A bit on each side of the plug. Wonder if anybody watching this. Um, that uses a data splitter can tell me what the alternative grease is. There used to be a mobile one that uh, was the same grease apparently. 
and it's um, it's no longer available. This stuff is two hundred and forty dollars a tin, so I wouldn't mind finding a good equivalent that's a reasonable price. So let me know in the comments if uh, you, you know of a, a similar equivalent grease. I believe it's got titanium dioxide in it, and that's what makes it white. Or titanium oxide, oxide, yeah, oxide boots. Um, yeah, that'd be really handy to know. So let us know in the comments. It's always a bit of a trick to use these things without getting grease all over you. I usually end up getting grease all over me, but that doesn't really matter. Yuck. So it goes. Beautiful. Alright, well that worked alright. So, it's crowbar time.
Oh, the delights of doing jobs without excavators. Well, I'm getting through it on the 35 mil plugs and feathers now. That's good. Just put me your plugs in. Yay! All right. We'll bust in the small bits.
it's all out. It took longer than it should have, but never mind. I don't work in this rock all that often, and every time I do, I'm just surprised how hard it is. Unbelievable stuff. It's about twice as hard as granite, I reckon. All right, thanks for watching another uh, on a demolition day. It's dirty deeds done dirt cheap. Far too cheap, this one. But such is life. And uh, I'll be blowing up stuff tomorrow, so I'll keep watching. <laughs>